Hello and welcome to MFCP Woodworking. I'm a little hesitant to uh, make this uh, particular video uh, because I don't want people to feel sorry for me. Uh, I don't think I really require that kind of sympathy. I uh, I uh, how can I say this? There are a lot of people who are a lot worse shape than us. Uh, my woodworking is not my bread and butter. And in reality, the damage isn't as bad as it looks. Um, I was, I mean, it's disheartening to look at, but the damage to equipment is actually very minimal. There's a little bit to my uh, machinery. Um, the tools, uh, my wife, after this uh, roof collapse happened, uh, my wife and my son were able to slowly pick through here and pick up most of my small tools and accessories for the lathe. Um, I was only missing my uh, small side scraper, which I found this morning when I came in here to check things out. It looks like it got flipped way through the air. Something must have landed on the end of it, fly like a spoon at the table when we were screwing around as kids. Um, we're going to rebuild this. The, the three walls are intact. It's just the roof. Um, what happened is we got a lot of snow all of a sudden and then it rained on it and made it really heavy. Because it'll hold the snow. I think it'll hold up to three feet of snow. But uh, when it's got about eight or nine inches of snow that turns into heavy, heavy ice. And then stuff from the roof of the camp here comes off it. That just took it right down. So... I'm thankful that it's not worse than this. The damage to the lathe is the tool rest bed. The, not the bed of the lathe, the, uh, the base of the tool rest shattered. It's cast iron. And my old lathe, which is by the, uh, by the wood pile on the other side. I'm just going to sneak through here. You can see the wood pile on the other side there. It's right beside that, and the wood pile actually kept the, the uh, roof from falling down on that, so there's no damage to the old lathe. And it has a tool rest base that I believe is exactly the same as the one on my new lathe. Um, I can see the lathe is shifted. This, for, my, for the sake of my subscribers, I'm not going to be able to make turning videos until we can get at the lathe and get access to it. I'm likely to uh, pull as much of this off slowly as I can. Get the lathe in a good position, which is back on its blocks. And then make a cover for it so that uh, when I want to work at it and the weather's good, I can get there and work at it and start making videos again. That's really what we're, uh, what we're after. And I believe maybe even before early spring, I can be up and running again. This does not affect my hair stick making, my rustic hair sticks, because uh, that's all hand carving. I can do that inside. In fact, I was doing that all inside. I did very little of that in the shop here. But uh, now we're going get to this, get this fixed, get this back going again. Um, if you like my videos, take a look at what I have done. I'll be back. I'll produce more. Um, I'll probably be even more organized probably have learned more about editing my videos and making them better so uh, I'll do my best I'm committed to getting this restarted uh, like I said this is not my bread and butter um, I'm dreaming that someday it might be but uh, right now it's not so uh, financially this is this is not the disaster it could have been and uh, I'm looking forward to getting rolling again so I'm gonna sneak back out of here and we're going to call this a video for this week, basically to advise people of the current situation at MFCP Woodworking. And we'll see what we can do to move forward. If you like the video, I hope you don't like what's in the video. Okay, but if you like my, uh, my work, uh, please subscribe. Hit the like button, comment, tell me what you think in the, in the uh, information below. Um, I may ha I'm going to have to replace these poles, find some more material out in the bush. But, uh, and make it stronger. And in the future, we're going to find a way to uh, make it so that it's easy to access the roof so we can remove snow as it comes down like that because uh, very unusual to get snow and rain together like that where it just piles up and sticks. 
snow in the back was seven feet deep. There was nowhere for it to slide off, which is what it usually happens with it. Anyway, thanks for watching.